In this productivity and quantity driven world, it can be a struggle to live our lives as thought as artists. We for sure live in a very strange time, where an artist should spend his days communicating online, trying to catch attention of those who don't have time, who don't care and can't be bothered. As an artist living for my art, I feel this pressure every day. I'm too slow, I'm not doing enough, I'm not productive enough. What if time should be spent in a more meaningful way? Taking the time to accomplish slowly and patiently our very best work and to enjoy every second of it and every step of the process. Why our current time always want us to hurry, to stay surface level, to compete, to produce fast, to spend time in a pointless way, always in a rush, as if being an artist was a race. I'm often asked how long does it take to do this, to do that, to complete this workshop or that dollhouse, with the hope it's not going to be too long. And my reply always disappoints because it takes a long time to do it. I wonder why patience and time and effort are so undervalued these days. Why fast and easy results are always preferred. What a strange time we are living. To me, time is the most precious early for an artist, if used wisely. As time goes by, things in nature get better. Trees grow taller, wine get more tasty, and our art needs years and decades to develop fully. When I was a teenager, I always had this thought in my mind, I just can't wait to see what I will be able to do in 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now. I sure will be all wrinkled, old and decayed, but my art will be wonderful. And this thought made me very optimistic about the future. And made me very happy. I was not thinking about some sort of material success or some people interest for my art, but just how my skills will develop. If I work slowly and patiently every day, year after year, decade after decade, my skills will have developed and evolved in a way which will allow me to do things just impossible to imagine and guess at the time. In my life as an artist, I'm reaching this point where I want to aim for extreme quality, to do my best work possible, slowly, taking all the time necessary to experiment, try new things, practice and improve my abilities in all the possibilities. I want my art journey in this world to be meaningful and purposeful. I enjoy being slow and late in this world of butterflies and hurried hairs. Time and daily practice, year after year, allow our skills to grow and bloom like flowers in a garden. One of the reasons I cherish the past so much, the 18th, late 17th and early 19th century, before the technical revolution, it's also because of their approach to time. You had no choice but being patient, to travel, to be dressed, to communicate with others, and to create. I may be slow and late compared to others, but in my own journey, I'm perfectly on time. To me, imagination is like a big cupboard with closed and secret drawers and doors, patiently waiting to be open. Only patience and time and effort will unlock these doors and drawers which may be hiding gems and treasures we could never see without time and patience and daily work. I will continue to be a slow artist, taking my time to do my best art and accomplish what I'm supposed to do in this world at my own pace, slowly and patiently.